Um, I want to talk a little bit about a guy called Gabe Hoffman. Uh, Ralph went on stream and he, um, he realized that he was being stream sniped. So he decided to start saying the N word as hard and fast as humanly possible. Uh, which successfully managed to get the kick stream restreaming him deleted. So he did epically own the A logs. However, he did not remember that Gabe Hoffman, a Jewish hedge fund manager and director, was watching his moments movements ready to strike. And so after he did the seri the chain gun inward spam, Gabe Hoffman sent this clip to the different payment services that he uses, which I think was like, check. Yeah, was one I was in like check. Yeah. And, uh, Ko-Fi. Um, and they banned him because, uh, of his vulgar racist outbursts that Gabe Hoffman had alerted them to. And obviously I'm against deplatforming, even for retards like Ralph. Uh, however, he has no one but himself to blame. And let me explain. After hearing about this, I wondered why this Jewish hedge fund manager really, really hated Ralph. And he didn't seem to hate anybody else associated with Ralph or like the Kiwi Farms, for instance. Um, and I, I had falsely assumed that he was a member of the ADL. Because I think there is a guy called Hoffman who is associated with the ADL. Correct me if I'm wrong. And when I realized that he didn't have anything to do with the ADL, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy's thing with Ralph? He seems like a, like a normal person. Why is he involved in um in in Ralph's shit? So I, I message him, and uh, he explained. Surprisingly, he wrote in extreme detail about his history with uh Ralph, and I will relay this history to you because I've never heard this explained to me. Um, so because I think it's it's like deep lore that not everybody will will know about. Um, okay, so here's what happened. This guy is a director. He did a video expose about pedophiles in Hollywood, which ended the careers of a couple of people that I, I can't remember. I don't want to name any names because of what I'm saying, but it ended the careers of the people that he did the expose on. Um, and since he was into video exposes and stuff, he also had like an interest in QAnon and he saw the HBO documentary about Q. Uh, which, by the way, I'm featured in. <laughs> There's a one picture of me sit, sit, standing next to Frederick Brennan and Ron Watkins uh, in a K-Flay hoodie in the Mil in uh, Manila, Philippines. Uh, and that was broadcasted. But um, because of this documentary, he started talking to Frederick Brennan about Q. And eventually he started talking to Frederick Brennan about Wikipedia. Uh, from what I remember, I could be wrong, but I, I think that... Frederick Brennan literally wrote um, Ralph's Wikipedia article. I want to say that he not only wrote this, but he wrote it in front of me. Like he, I think this was done in Manila and he was writing this article in front of me in his apartment at one point. Um, but at some point when Frederick did like his heel turn, he decided that he wanted to get rid of Ralph's Wikipedia page. And since he was like an ingrained Wikicrat at that time, he was able to lobby for this page to be deleted successfully. Gabe Hoffman noted that Frederick had clout in Wikipedia. And since he was interested in exposés and stuff, he wanted to know how Wikipedia worked. And so Frederick and him discussed the ins and outs of being a Wikicrat. And uh, as he was getting Ralph's article deleted at that time, when Ralph saw this and freaked out about it because he uh, saw this as a huge insult that they considered him not notable enough for an article, um, he freaked out about it on Twitter. And Frederick, uh, wanting to rub it in, uh, tweeted at Gabe Hoffman in reply to Ralph's chimp out on Twitter so that Gabe Hoffman may also see Ralph freak out about Wikipedia and laugh at him. For some reason, I'm mean, not for some reason, I know exactly why. Uh, it, Ralph responded to this by directly attacking Gabe Hoffman because uh, in his audience, he has like these really low IQ, like like neo Nazis that are like inbred Klansmen. Like Ranbot. Ranbot's a great example of someone who's like 80 IQ and also a neo Nazi that hates Jews, right? And he wants to make money from these people. So he sees Frederick Brennan tagging in this random Jew. And he's like, aha, you see this billionaire hedge fund manager Jew? He's bankrolling my opposition. I, the Ralph Amel, am not only notable, 
I am so notable. There is a Jewish conspiracy to take me down, as indicated by Gabe Hoffman being tagged into this Twitter Twitter uh, conversation. And um, Gabe thought this was funny and started looked into Ralph. So he went to YouTube. He typed in Ethan Ralph. And since Ralph is banned off YouTube, who do you guys think he found talking about Ralph? And I want to see if Jack can guess this. Because I think that this is known to to some people, but I don't know how known it is. Yes, the ADL have, has mentioned Ralph. The ADL wrote an article about um, neo-Nazis crowdfunding through Super Chats on YouTube, which is why Ralph got banned to begin with, because of the, the heel stream. No, not me. Kino Casino. Kino Casino has better advertising, I guess, better YouTube presence and uh, more content on Ralph. So when he went to YouTube and typed in Ethan Ralph, he found the Kino Casino with PPP. And he listened and he thought, this is funny. And this fat retard is getting roasted and he's white trash. And I find all this very entertaining. So he made an en and he endeavored to watch it live. And so he watched a couple episodes of the Kino Casino live and thought these guys are really funny. I'm going to send in a super chat, which ended in PPP curiously spe wondering if the Gabe Hoffman who just sent him like $20 in super chat is the real Gabe Hoffman that they were just talking about because um, uh, of the Ralph drama. R it was him. He confirmed on Twitter that it was him that had sent in the money on Kino Casino, and Ralph took this as vindication. Not only is this Jewish billionaire hedge fund manager conspiring against him by tagging in uh, Frederick Brennan, but he's also f directly funding his opposition, the Kino Casino, through Super Chats, making the Kino, Con Kino Casino a Jewish conspiracy against Ethan Ralph personally funded by Gabe Hoffman. Um, so that's what he went out and said. After this point, from what I understand, um, things kind of died down. Gabe was still watching the Kino Casino or whatever, keeping tabs on Ralph. But there wasn't much active until October 7th, 2023, when Hamas attacked uh, Israel. Um, and what was Ralph's first reaction at hearing that Hamas had carried out a terrorist attack in Israel? He went on Twitter and uh, said something to the effect of, I sure hope Gabe Hoffman family weren't slaughtered by Hamas in a terrorist attack. Ha <laughs> ha. Well... As it turns out, Gabe did not like that very much. So after months, or I think even years even, of just not being very involved in the whole Ralph and Mail drama, Ralph randomly decided to shit in this guy's cereal, and he didn't like it. So now he's very personally invested in destroying Ethan Ralph. And there's a, now a literal Jewish head fund, head fund billionaire trying to destroy him <laughs> because he kept fucking with him. Uh, so th let this be a lesson. Now, regardless on your political takes, that making enemies, uh, needlessly, is a bad idea. And sometimes it's just, uh, it's better to let, let things ride, as it were. Head fund, that's right. Uh, so Ralph was on some weird spelling bee. Um, I think there's clips of this. Do I want to, do I dare try to preload these from the Kiwi Farms? I'm sure I don't have to do a, a capture thing. Oh, it is loading. Oh my God. Stream saved. Okay. So from what I understand, he, he did a spelling bee and he cheated. So uh, I think this is mostly him ranting and being an N word chat. What's her name? Okay, what's her name? You, what's her can name? You hear um, me? Can you hear me? Sylvia Dream. What's up? Can you can, can you hear me? Uh, How are you? Yeah. Salvo Pancakes attempted to organize an internet celebrity spelling bee on the internet. So I don't know if you know this, but dictionaries are a common thing on the internet now and on phones. So it's very hard to, uh, to prevent cheating. But I think that what Ralph did is that he was like loudly typing. So when the, uh, the word was given to him, he, you could hear him immediately start clack a clacking like on the mic because he was looking up the word <laughs> on Google and, uh, th he got called out for this. What's up? I like, your, um, I, like, I like the way you look. I, I, don't, I don't think they can fucking hear me, actually. Hey, you, Ralph. Okay, well, yeah, what I, I want to say is like this. What I want to say is it's this. Dope. And yeah. I know why Salvo is taking this position. Um, but in an official spelling bee, you have the right to write down the word and then spell it after. That's how an official spelling bee works. 
And I know why he's saying we can't do that because, like, it makes it really hard. It makes it harder to detect cheating, basically. Um, yeah. And so I understand why he's saying that, but it's not an official spelling bee unless we can actually write down the word, then spell it. I brought my pen and everything. So I, right? I yeah, Ryan knows okay. what I'm talking about, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. he knows it. So, okay, raise your hand. Word. Raise your hand if you've been in a spelling bee in this. Raise your hand if you've been in a spelling bee in this in this room. Yeah, I'm with you I'm lying, on that. I'm lying, but yes, me too. I've had been in a spelling bee before. Okay, and you know how it works. And you, and you know that... Yeah that you get that right, right? Like, I'm not... Yeah, they, they go down the list. They right. definitely go down the list, and they'll say, it's your turn to spell it. I'm not just making I that up. I, I didn't make that up to cheat. I didn't make that up no, to didn't. fuck anybody over. I, I'm just saying, that's the... That's the actual rules, right? Like, you so actually... So, what are we spelling right now? What, so, what's the word that we're going to spell right now? Uh, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> not for you, not for you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I wanted to make a joke. I wanted to make a joke. By the way, can you guys? Um, I've been streaming all day and uh, been going through a lot. Can you guys see me like my visage and all that, or do I? Visage. <laughs> uh, you got to hit the camera. Button. I cannot. Brothers, can you see the haunting visage of my guns? I've been so beaten down by the events that have transpired this day. I need to make show. I'm broadcasting my my earthly mortal corporeal form to you through the internet. Thanks, Ralph. <laughs> yeah, we can see you, buddy. See your <laughs> okay, camera. We'll see. That's okay. Look at that. You look like a faggot right now. So <laughs> well, we can't you see sound you. like a faggot and you suck dick like a faggot, so I wouldn't be surprised. How do you um, know? Yeah, how would you know what a faggot sucks dick like? I don't know. Because he just watches just your Instagram stuff. He might want to know because he calls me one. <laughs> because we know Brian Dunn. What happens? <laughs> Yeah, we all know Brian Dunn. Can we all just say fuck <laughs> Brian Dunn? Like, to start this <laughs> off. Like, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Look at the drunk ass Isn't clown, suck man. Dick like, like, a faggot kind of a compliment? That's like. Hey, bro. Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. Do I don't mean to shit on nobody's parade, but we're in LA right now. I don't know where you're at, bro. You can be in Wisconsin. I'm in Maryland, Mexico. People. I don't give a fuck about LA. There's a lot of white people, so I'm <laughs> thinking you guys are in my. Yo, yeah, I'm a gringo so right here in Meredith. What's dude. good, brother? I don't give a what's goddamn good, about man, yo. LA. Nada, what's up, homie? It's so good to see you, yeah, man. Denada. Good to see you, brother. How you been? Uh, dude, I'm good, bro. I, I'm out in LA right now. I'm gonna be in Vegas uh, next week, bro. Yeah, yeah I, I wanted to come, man. I, I wanted to come, but I got I got my own vacation. I couldn't afford two. Okay, can you see me now? Because like I have problems with the Discord. I don't. No, know. we can't see you, drunk Where's ass. Ralph at? Fuck you, him. bitch. Suck my fucking dick. I'm just saying you you're drunk, dude. No, I'm not bro, drunk. Like, I'm not drunk. You, you sound so drunk. And I will drunk, be. I would beat you no, 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 I don't know who the fuck you think you're talking to, but it ain't the same nigga you think. Yeah, I'm from Memphis. I'm from Memphis with two illegitimate children, more blacker than, and a felony, more blacker than you could ever be. Dude, why are people proud of shit like this? We need to deport these people. He's already, you know, he's already deported. He's in Mexico. Don't let him back in. Confins confiscate his passport, his El Pasporto. Don't run back in. Motherfucker. <laughs> Memphis, Memphis, Memphis. Yeah, Memphis, 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 Memphis. All Which about Memphis. Memphis. You see the same Texas, clip. Man. He fuck, saw the fuck, same fuck clip. Fuck he saw the same fuck clip Memphis, I did. Bro. Yeah, Ooh, suck my dick, bitch. Yeah, suck yeah, my dick and fucking choke to death on a cocksucker. Hey, this is going to be a fucking blast. Yeah. Dude, this is why Ralph can't, like, leave his stream anymore. He's, like, stuck. 
in the Ralph Everest. He can only stream in his room. He can't take Jesse Potoffel's podcast and um and like uh take calls because you get bullied. He can't like guest star on other people's shows. He used to like jump around shows all the time to promote himself and stuff, and now he can't. He jumps on a fucking spelling bee discord and he gets bullied by a dozen people oh, man. Hey, everybody everybody hello 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 desiree Hi, do we okay. have, hello do we have, do we have everybody in here first off let me ask that yes i can uh, confirm we have hello. everyone jesse it's so good to hear you uh perfect all right guys let me let me run you hello. okay let's look at the other one the other clip uh this is him screaming the n-word i think <laughs> yeah Ethan Ralph, your word is entrepreneur. Okay, I'm glad you pronounced it that way. Uh, I've never done a spelling me before. I, I could definitely spell entrepreneur if I wrote it down, but I don't know if I can say it aloud. E N T R E P E N E U E R. Entrepreneur. Right? Yeah, I spelled it right. Did I miss anything? I missed the R in entrepreneur. Aw, oh, that sucks. I guess I lose. I guess I ain't as good as spelling it as the Ralph Mail, huh? Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Entrepreneur. Oh, oh, that's kind of a hard word, actually. Um... I hardly knew her. He's trying to get me out of here. Um, <laughs> he against is... you, Ethan. Say what? Wait, oh, go ahead. You interrupted me. I just wanted to make sure. I'm sorry. You, you interrupted me. It's going to take at least another 120 processing cycles to remember the last thing that I had thinking of. Anyways, my word is <laughs> angles. A N G E L S angle. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Floor is yours. Okay. Uh, e N T R E P R E N U E R entrepreneur. Incorrect. How's it spelled? Incorrect. E E N T R E P R E N E. I you thought it was are. spelled N I G G E R, nigger. Oh, uh, Ethan Ralph. Spelled... Dude, Thank I you, appreciate nigger. you coming on here, buddy. I appreciate you coming on here, motherfucker. Uh, just yep. to be Thank clear, you. you did spell nigger wrong. Guys, guys, <laughs> kick it from the call. Guys, kick it from the call. I was smiling. He knows. Dude, this is why nobody can invite him onto their shows. Imagine inviting this fat retard to talk to you. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.